Cindy invites the trio to stay the weekend on her aunt's farm. Jack, who is not enthused, would rather be at home than camping with the girls. Janet consoles poor Jack. Terry decides, let's make it a girls' weekend instead. An obviously upset Larry arrives to meet an excited Jack, who is wanting to know how his date with Candy went the night before. Larry, who is never ashamed, tells Jack, well, it went good, but her fiancé wasn't happy. Jack and Sarah's ask, why would you take out another man's fiancé? But Larry goes on to explain that, well, I also used the guy's car, and I totaled it too. Scared for Larry's life, a very concerned Jack receives a phone call. Not knowing why, but he is threatened, yelled at, and intimidated by a guy named Wally on the other end of the line, scaring Jack and totally confusing him at this point. Jack, now concerned for his own safety, finds out from Larry that Wally is actually Candy's fiancé. Jack then says, why would you use my name and not your own? I'm also dating Candy's best friend, Linda. If they talk to each other, I could be in big trouble. At this point, Jack decides he's going to go to the farm, where he's much safer off being with Cindy than with Wally. After dinner, Cindy brings the trio to the barn, where she then informs him that this is where they're going to be sleeping for the entire night. Terry and Janet are excited. Jack, not happy about the sleeping arrangements, must put on an act in front of Cindy's aunt, making her think that he knows his way around the barn and that the girls need him more than he needs them. Trying to make the best of the situation, Jack decides to make a bed between the two girls in the hay before a noisy owl started to make noise, scaring Jack and causing Terry to banish him to a corner. In the morning, Cindy's aunt catches Mr. Furley, who's wearing a really nice pink suit, hanging out on the farm. Janet has to explain who he is. What are you doing here? Oh, I almost forgot. I just did you a big favor, Jack, a real big favor. What? Some guy named Wally woke me up at 6 a.m. this morning, banging on your door. Said he really wanted to get a hold of you. Did you tell him where I was? I did better than that. I drove him up here. <laughs> Knowing Wally really wants to kill him. Jack has no other option but to hide in a hayloft, but then falls in a hole so big, only an idiot wouldn't see it. Hurt from his fall and fearing for his life, Jack has no other option but to tell Wally his name is Zeke, not Jack. He's the hired hand on the farm. He was just fixed to do some chores around the farm. While still not convinced who he is, Wally then forces the hired hand Zeke to milk the cow while assaulting him and the cow too. While milking the cow, Mr. Furley unknowingly gives Jack away, causing Jack to hand over his bucket to Wally and running. Knowing Wally was snooping around the apartment, Larry goes out to the farm, not knowing that Wally is now there. Wally catches up to the two outside of the barn. Larry, thinking he's doing the right thing for once, tells Wally that he's the one he wants, not Jack, then retracts. Jack feeling macho, tries a hard stance, but then realizes Wally's the size of a house and backs down. Trying for one last hiding spot, Wally hears the boys hiding in the corner and pulls them out like the chickens that they are. Having every right to be pissed, Wally decides to destroy them both since how he's not sure who the right guy is. Feeling cornered, pressured, and scared, the pair decide to play a fun game of patty cake, patty cake, punch and try to knock Wally out. As they do this, the only problem is they miss and knock each other out. Larry's a dick. <laughs>